Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, partners. Hi, how are you, Eduardo? I am fine, teacher. Um, sure. I rest in my house. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yes, that's the best thing, right? Right. Yes, already home. Okay, let's see. What about the others? Are you at home? Not yet. Uh, excuse me, teacher. And the others are already at home. And the others. Ah, uh, ya me teacher. Ah. Me preguntaba, teacher, perdón, es que me cuesta un poquito el, el, el ¿cómo se llama? Eh, captar la, 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 traducir eso, me cuesta a veces. Ah, don't worry, don't worry, that's why you're learning. Yeah, what I was asking is if all the others are already at home. But maybe no, because they didn't say anything. Yes. Okay. Vaya, vamos a ver. Let's see. Checking the list. I'm going to call you and you tell me present. Bella Lisbeth, Bella Bella, no here Bella. Carlos Roberto, Carlos Roberto, Carlos Roberto. Darling Jasmine, Darling, Eddie Sadonai, Dennis Adonai, no, Dennis, no, Edgar Eduardo, present teacher, excellent, Gabriela Stephanie. Presente. Germán Agustín. Germán Agustín. No here. Jessica Raquel. Present teacher. Good evening. Okay. Carla María. Present teacher. Kelly Marcela. Eli, Marcelo Vladimir, present teacher, Mauricio Giovanni, present, Miguel Efraín, I'm here teacher, Moisés Elías, present teacher, Norma Maritza, present teacher, good evening, good evening. Pedro Antonio, present teacher, Ronald Josué. Present teacher, present. Sabrina Lisset. Present. Tamara Lisset. Tamara, no here, Tamara. Waldemar Alexander. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Walter Antonio. Walter, Walter, no here, Walter. No, no, no here. Okay, well, nice to see you. We are ready to begin our second day. Just let me share. 
It's November. November 21st. Share the screen with me. Okay. We are on our second. On our second day and today, uh, well, we're going to have a review of this, this class, of course. <laughs> and then we are going to talk about obligations. Obligations. And we are going to use have to to talk about obligations, right? Okay, that's the objective for today. Participants will be able to create a conversation in which they use have and has to in a boss and new employee environment using the target grammar and vocabulary. <laughs> okay, let's That means one of you will be the boss, the other one will be yeah, the no, employee, no. the new employee, right? And you're going to give instructions to your employee, telling him or her what he has to do at work. Okay? That's what you're going to be doing later on. Now, let's review yesterday's class. Remember, uh, yesterday we were talking about countable and uncountable nouns. What you're going to do, what we are going to do here is look at the words, look at the words and decide if they are countable or uncountable. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to see the words and then we will check. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. Yes. Okay, let's see a uh, pages. What is pages? Countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Sun. Uncountable. Countable. Lemons. Countable. 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 Things. Countables. Notebooks. Countables. Trees. Uncountable. Rice. Uncountable. 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 Paper. Uncountable. 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 Mm? Uncountable. Uncountable. Right? Yeah. We cannot say how many papers. Right? How much paper? Water. Uncountable. Uncountable. Snow. Uncountable. 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 Traffic. Uncountable. Coffee. Uncountable. Sugar. Uncountable. Air. Uncountable. Homework. Uncountable. Yes, we say how much homework. You know how many homeworks, right? <laughs> Okay, how much homework do you have? Oil? Uncountable. Uncountable. Furniture? Countables. Uncountable. Yes, furniture is uncountable. Um, I can count the sofas, the tables, but the word furniture is uncountable. Birds? Countable. Pencils, milk, 
Okay, very good. Any questions here? Questions? No question. Good. Check TV. TV can be countable and can be uncountable, depending on the situation. For example, when you say, how much TV do you watch? How much TV? Oh, well, I watch not much, just one hour every day. But how many TVs are there in the store? Mm -hmm. So one thing is watching television. And the other thing is counting the televisions that, for example, if you go to a, to a store, right? To a store where they sell electrodomestics or stuff, different types of stuff. And you can count the televisions that they have. So if you're counting the televisions that way, but the machine is countable. But if you're talking about the action of watching television, that is uncountable. Okay? okay. Now, let's move here. Check. We're talking about how much and how many, right? Remember, that's why the review, we were talking yesterday about countable and uncountable numbers. When do we use how much? <clears throat> how, when do we use how much? For uncountable? With uncountable things and also with prices, right? Like the first example. How much does the refrigerator weigh, right? How much does it cost? The second is price. How much does it cost? You don't say how many does it cost. You say how much. And with weight, el peso, cuánto pesa, no cuántos pesa la red, right? So that's why we use how much. And if you're talking about warranty, even you're talking about years, but that is time. Or in this case, how much is it? How much money do I need to pay extra to extend the warranty? You know, products get one year of warranty and you pay extra to extend the warranty. So how much is set? to extend the warranty. How much does it store? Cuanto guarda? In this case, store no es tienda. In this case, store is cuanto guarda? Cuanto puede guardar allí? Okay? Es como el verbo guardar, pero no vamos a usar keep, sino que store. Porque es lo que usted ocupa cuando guarda algo, por ejemplo, como el stock en, en una empresa, ¿verdad? Que guarda algo para ser vendido más tarde o después. En este caso usamos esto. Pero no es la tienda, este es un verbo, ¿verdad? How much does it store? ¿Cuánto le cabe? ¿Cuánto guarda? ¿Ok? Now we have how many, how many fissures does it have? Remember yesterday we said fissures are characteristics and we can count the characteristics, right? How many fissures does it have? How many colors is it in? Imagine you're buying a glass. That how many colors is it in? ¿En cuántos colores viene? Right? ¿En cuántos colores lo tiene? Then you say how many colors is it in? How many functions does it have? How many? How many products do you want? How many products do you sell? How many products do you buy? Products, plural. So it is me okay any questions here no, no question. question no question nice 
Now, here is our exercise. You're going to complete using how much or how many. You can make the sentences in your notebook and I'm going to give you some time for you to do it. And then we will check together. I will share it there in the in the chat. I'm going to send it there in the in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat, oh, yeah. in WhatsApp, so you can perfectly see it. There. Uy, se fue. Lo voy a volver a poner. No sé cómo les parece a ustedes allí. A mí me aparece que es. Ah, ok. Ah, pues a ustedes sí les aparece. En la compu me apareció que se fue por allá mucho antes de que cargaran todos los demás mensajes. But in your case, you can perfectly see, right? Fine. You have the sentences there. Remember. Remember, complete with how much or how many. How much or how many? The number one teacher is how much? Okay, pieces. Yes, pieces do I need to ensemble this? Can I count the pieces? How many? How many, how many? How many? How many pieces? Okay. And the second is how much? How much? Because we're talking about price, right? But uh -huh. number three. How much? much? How much? How much is the battery like? Talking about time, right? Yeah. How much? Okay. Hours do I charge it? How many hours? How many hours, yes. Remember, if it relates to time, you use much. But if it relates to time, number five, hours, days, years, you use Number five, how much money? How much money do you have? Nice. How much money? Mm -hmm. And number six. How many gallons of water does this need? Okay. How many? How many gallons of water does this need? And number seven. How many books do you read a month? Uh -huh. How many books do you read a month? Number eight. How many bananas, many bananas do you bananas eat a week? Eat a week? Mm -hmm. Okay, how many bananas do you eat a week? Number nine. How, how much, much pizza, pizza, pizza do you eat a month? 
How much space? Yes. Yeah. Number ten. How many? How much? How much water do you drink daily? How much water do you drink daily? Yeah. Number eleven. How much fruit do you eat weekly? Yes. How much fruit do you eat weekly? Number twelve. How many spaghetti do you eat a month? How much, how much spaghetti do you eat a month? How, how much? much spaghetti? Yeah, we will we will use much because uh, we cannot count the spaghetti, right? The spaghetti, pasta, rice are uncounted. Okay, any questions here? Questions, questions? No question. Okay, perfect. Now, in the manual, in the manual, you have this exercise. I guess it is page 10, but let me check. Yes, page number 10. Page number 10, write the questions. Using how much or how many, right? Similar to the examples that we just did. You tell me whenever you're ready. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's see number one. Is how much, no, how many pies do I need to assemble this? How many pieces, right? How many pieces do I need to assemble this? Number three. How much is the battery life? Of this mm -hmm. computer. Yes. Number five. How much money do you How have? How much money do you have? How much money do you have? Right. <laughs> Number two. How much, How much money do, do you this book cost? How much do these um, books cost? We're talking about money, right? Number four. How many hours do How I many share hours? it? How many hours? How many hours? How many hours do I charge it? You are charged it. And number six. How many gallons of water oh, does it need? Mm -hmm. How many waters? How many gallons of water do I need? Very good. Any questions over there? No questions? No question. Okay. Now, let's move. I'm not sharing the screen, so sorry. Okay, let's see. Any questions? No questions? No? Now. We are going to work here. Uh, we are going to change topic, right? Remember, um, today's topic is obligation. For obligation, we are going to use has to and have to. 
When do I use has and when do I use have? Who can tell me? We use has to third person and have for first person. Uh -huh, exactly. So check this. When I'm talking about first person singular, I use have to. Second person singular, I use have to, it's you, better. Right? And the third person singular, he, she, it, I'm going to use has. Yeah? I have to, you have to, he has to, she has to, it has to. Yeah? And talking about plural, again, we have first, second, and third person. We have we, you, and they, with the three of them, we use have to. We have to, you have to, they have to. Now, repeat after me. I have to do the homework. I have to do the homework. I have to do the homework. You have to clean the house. You have, you have to clean the house. The house. She has to mop the floor. She has to mop the floor. We have to attend classes. 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 You have to study a lot. You have to study a lot. You have to study a lot. They have to work They have to work late. They have to work late. Have to work late. They have to work late. They have to work late. Very good. Now, what happens if my sentence is negative? If I'm using a negative sentence, I'm, we're going to be here. When it is a, for I, you, we, they, we are going to say, for example, we don't have to, right? We don't have to. We don't have to wear a uniform for this class, right? For this class, we don't have to wear a uniform. Okay, just one thing. Remember, we said have to or has to is obligation. But if I use in negative, I'm going to circle. If I use it in negative, like don't have to or doesn't have to, that means there is no obligation. We don't have to wear a uniform. It's not necessary to wear a uniform for this class. To work, to go to work mainly, right? You have to wear a uniform. But to attend this class, we don't have to wear a uniform. So in that case, we say there is a lack of obligation. Uh, that, is, that is a difference between this model and some models, right? This is lack. Lack means no hay right? Lack of obligation. If it is negative, means there is no obligation. See? No obligation. No se nos convierte en prohibition. Se convierte en no obligation. No hay obligación. If I say, you don't have to, you don't have to speak French here. It's not necessary. You don't have to, to travel. You don't have to go to the office tomorrow. It's not obligation. You don't have to go to English Corporativo to receive the class. Yeah? But you have to be in class every day. You have to be in class to complete hours. Okay? That is obligation. But if I use it in negative, 
no obligation. ¿Ya? Questions over there. Mm -hmm. Sí, no. And for he shit. Y se me pierde el marketing. Ok, in negative it would be she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. Tell me, in your company where you work, do you have to clean the floor? Hmm? Do you have to clean the floor where you work? Is yes, it an obligation? Yes. In your case, yes. Okay. Do you have to travel? Do you no, travel? I don't have. You don't have to travel. Do you have to arrive early? Yes, yes I have. I have to arrive early. Do you have to make up? Time make Where? when we say make up time means como hacer tiempo extra, right? Do you have to make up? I don't time? have. Yes. No, you have to. Okay. Yes, I have. Yeah, in some companies they say you have to stay extra time, but we won't pay extra money, right? But it's mandatory that you stay extra time. You finish at five, you can stay a little bit more until six. <laughs> that will not be a little bit, right? Okay, so you can be there a little bit like mm, five, 10, five, 15. So that'll be obligation, you have to. Now, check this. In negative, in negative, we say doesn't have to, right? Doesn't have to. I'm going to move this. Cuando, ah, está. Cuando estaba moviendo, se me quedó la conversation. So, you go back to the conversation, right? You go back to the conversation. We will read the conversation. And then you answer this questions about the conversation. Okay, repeat after me. The new material just arrived in the morning. The new material. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Tell Max, Max that, that, that he has, he has to, to store, store everything. everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. He and he Ivan have, have to store them in the warehouse. Them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can okay. they okay. But there okay. are many boxes. Boxes. there are many boxes. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? Can, can, can they, they use, can use, can they use, they use, use the, lift? the lift? Yes, they have to use the lift. They have to use the lift. The lift. The lift. Lift. The lift. But as them as and tell the secretary first. But as her, her her tell the secretary, secretary first. first. She's going to say they can use it. She's, She's going, going to say, to say, say they, they can, can, use, can it. use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Then, then, then I'm then going to tell Max and, and Ivan what they, they, have, they, have, to they have, to have to do. Okay, one more time. The new material just arrived in the morning. New the new material, material just arrived in the morning. In the morning. <laughs> tell, Max, tell Max that he has to store everything. Tell Max, tell Max, tell Max that he has to store, has to store everything. everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? 
เว้ยกันคือครับเขียนไหนบ้างครับทุกตัวจะมีเด็กว่าที่ไอ้บ้างครับที่ไปสแกนที่คนเด็กว่าครับโอเค but there are many boxes can they use the lift โอเคไปเลยครับโอเคไปเลยครับสามารถใช้เครื่องลิฟต์ใช้เครื่องลิฟต์ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ She's going to She's say, going going to say, to say they, they can use it. Can use it. Then I'm going to tell <laughs> Max and I what they have to do. Then I'm going to tell Max and I what they have to do. Then I'm going to tell Max and I what they have to do. They have to do. Okay, there we go. Tamara, hágame un favorcito. Póngase su nombre de ti. Ay, sorry. Ahorita. Okay. Vaya, I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to practice the conversation with your partners. And then you complete this exercise related to the conversation. Okay? Oops. Okay. Remember, you're in the manual. You can find that conversation on page number 11, right? Conversation and exercise, page number 11. Ready? Yes. Here we go. I'm going to make five groups for you to have time or to have the chance to practice the conversation with different partners, okay? So you take turns to practice with different partners. There you go, join. Join, join. Check if you can see the invitation. Mauricio, try to join. Pedro, try to join. Walter, darling. Dennis, Marcelo. Pedro, darling, Walter no le aparece. Walter, can you see the invitation? Pedro, 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 darling, join the group. del manual está en el manual eh, ah, okay. es la página número 11 page 11 thank you fíjense que voy a mandar a uno de ustedes a otro grupo porque hay un grupo que solo entraron dos de todo el mundo que mandé oye vamos a mandar a Marcelo no sé si Marcelo está aquí y Marcelo creo que está de oyente, teacher. Dijo que iba a salir tarde del trabajo hoy. Ah, vaya, 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 vaya. Waldemar sí está por allí. Yes. Ay, ah, pues Waldemar lo voy a mandar al grupo. 
cinco, tres. Muy bien. Para que no se asuste que se lo lleva. <risa> Ok, bueno, entonces ahora, ahora practicamos con, con Germán, entonces. Ok. Eh, ¿Comienza usted o comienzo? Sigo yo. Si gusta, comience usted. Ok. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to restore everything. Where does to have to sort the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the, the, the lift? They have to use the lift, but as can tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. All right, very well. Ahora, ahora practique con Sabrina. Okay. <laughs> Beginning, some Sabrina. Okay. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay. Gracias. Es un gusto, es un gusto para todos, para mí estar con ustedes. Gracias. Gracias, Eduardo. Okay, go for the questions. If you already practice, go for the questions, right? Okay. Primero Max. es como segunda y tercera persona. Ajá, uh -huh. sí. Up to. Ok. Um, number two. Aaron doesn't have to. Has to. Can store the boxes. Um, has to. Entiendo porque dice que contrató una secretaria, ¿no sí? Uh -huh. No, que le pregunten a la secretaria. Ah, Ed. Ed. They have to use those in up to. Aaron doesn't yeah. help to the box. Para mí sería, Aaron has to help store the boxes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. And the first, Sam doesn't have to doesn't has to help. Doesn't have. Sería. Doesn't, uh, doesn't have to. Doesn't, doesn't have, have to help. ¿Por qué sería have to, teacher? Porque dice doesn't. 
Sí, gramaticalmente no. Sí, ahí eh, tiene que ser dasen ha. Se ocupa has to, has to cuando está usando el, el, ¿cómo se llama? Solo has to, pero si lo va a poner en negativo, tiene que ir dasen ha. Ah. En la cuarta sería secretary have to or has to say that they can use the lift. Ajá. Uh -huh. You have to choose one. Um, have to. Secretary have to. Secretary have to say they I can do. use the lift. I think is have to. Mm -hmm. Me, me cuesta bastante entender cuándo poner has. Has tú. Vaya, has tú es cuando está hablando de hichi o it. Entonces, has. Pero si va a usar I, you, we, o they, va a usar have to. Sí. Y, y si es negativo dasen dasen para he she it dasen have to have to va a usar I you we they don't have to don't have to ah. they don't have to cuando, cuando es negativo en tercera persona se usa dasen pero ya no se usa has to sino que se usa Ajá. have to exacto okay. Aunque sea tercera persona. Doesn't have to. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Any other question over there? Una question. Carla, creo que tiene una pregunta. Sí, teacher, pero es, es aparte de esto. O sea, este manual que tenemos sí. se, se llena y se envía, ¿o cómo no, no. es? No, es ¿Este solo es para trabajar? Sí, sí, ese es suyo. Ah, ok. Si usted quiere, lo puede imprimir, lo puede bajar, lo guarda en su cuerpo y ahí puede ir trabajando para que le vaya quedando pues lo que va trabajando. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y entonces lo, lo único que tenemos que trabajar así, calificado, por decirlo así, es lo de la... La plataforma. Plataforma. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ok. La plataforma. El manual es suyo. Si usted va trabajando, va guardando lo que va trabajando, el DC no se lo tiene que mandar a nadie. Es suyo. Okay. A la hora de que usted quiere volver a revisar algún tema. Ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. Qué bueno. Okay, bueno, let's go. Coming back. I'm watching. Okay. I want volunteers. Volunteers to read. Uh, number one, teacher. Uh -huh. Matt and Ivan ha have to store boxes. Exactly. Max and Ivan have to store boxes. Very good. And number two.
What about number two? Aaron? Aaron uh, doesn't have to help store the boxes. Okay, he doesn't have to. Vamos a ver. Mm, check. Uh, he says, he and I will have to store the boxes. Who are he? Max, but that. Max and I will have to store the boxes. So I don't, he will only watch. Okay, so yes, he doesn't have to help store the boxes. Not obligation for I to store, for I don't to store the boxes. What about number three? Sam? Sam doesn't have to help. help. Sam doesn't have to help. And the secretary has, has to, to say that they can the use the lift. Secretary, secretary has to, has to say, say that they that can, they use, can the lift. use the lift. Exactly. She has to say that they can use the lift. She will say yes, right? But she has to say yes. They cannot use it just because they want to use it. They have to wait for her to say, yes, you can use it, okay? Now, going to the structure, check. In affirmative, remember we say have to, no solo have, but it's have to. Have you know is possession. But if we say have to, I agree in el to, ustedes en su manual, have to for obligations, right? I'm going to give you a second for you to find a couple of mistakes. Oops, sorry. For you to find a couple of mistakes. Hay dos. Encuéntrenmelos. The truck driver doesn't have to bring the material exactly. and he doesn't have to use the lift. Exactly, he doesn't have to. No puedo decir he doesn't have to, ¿verdad? Igual, he doesn't have to use the lift. Háganle ustedes la corrección en su mano, ¿verdad? The truck driver doesn't have to bring the material and he doesn't have to use the lift. By a check. In affirmative, we use have to or has to. ¿Verdad? Has to es para las terceras personas. ¿Cuál es la tercera persona? He, she, she, it, it, it. it. Sí. Hablamos de tercera persona en singular. Para he, she, it, yo ocupo has to. En afirmativo. ¿Verdad? Yo ocupo has to en afirmativo. And in negative, I will use doesn't have to. Ahí usted puede ocupar el pronoun, así he, she, it, o puede usar el noun. No hay problema si usted ocupa María, Pedro, Juan, ¿verdad? The cat, the dog, the car. Usted puede usar un noun en vez del pronoun, pero igual, como es tercera persona, usted siempre va a estar ocupando el verbo como conviene para tercera persona. Entonces, va a decir, he has to... O Pedro has to. Perdón, Pedro, pero ese es uno de mis nombres para los examples. Hay que ver que cada rato va a oír que digo Pedro. Ok. Uh, she has to. O she doesn't have to. O puede decir María has to. María doesn't have to. María doesn't have to clean the office. But... She has to wear a uniform every day. 
She has to wear a uniform every day. She has to travel every day. Or she has to travel every weekend. ¿Verdad? Y usted eh, ve qué es lo que tiene que usar. Como va a ir el otro verbo. Sí, porque decimos das in have to. Y esto es seguido por un verbo. ¿Verdad? Has to. Y aquí viene otro verbo. Miren. I have to store. Ya dijimos que store, en este caso es verbo. Significa guardar. I have to store these packages. No voy a decir I have to keep these packages. Porque si usted ocupa keep, es algo que va a guardar, pero ahí va a quedar guardado. No lo va a sacar. Pero si ocupa store, eso significa que usted le hace espacio por un tiempo pero es algo que no va a estar todo el tiempo allí. Pues solo los va almacenando por un tiempo. ¿Verdad? Es como cuando usted habla de, de, de una empresa que tiene un stock suficiente que ya viene Navidad. Entonces empezamos desde de, que septiembre a amontonar árboles de Navidad y decoración navideña. Entonces hay store All the packages I have to store. The packages with the Christmas trees. Or the packages with the Christmas decoration. ¿Verdad? Eso es store. Pero lo que usted hace en su casa ya por marzo. <laughs> Pero lo hacemos allá por marzo. Is that you keep the Christmas tree. Then you say, oops, it's March. I have to keep the Christmas tree. Pero usted ya no dice store. Usted dice keep porque lo va a ir a guardar y lo va a sacar hasta diciembre del siguiente año. Tal vez noviembre. Depende. Yo aún no lo saco. Entonces, ahí depende de cada uno. Entonces, pero acá, si es, se trata de una empresa, then you say, I have to store. Porque no va a guardar un tiempo, solo lo almacena por un tiempo, pero dentro de poco lo va a sacar para vender. ¿Ok? Now, they have to take everything to the warehouse. What is a warehouse? ¿Quién me bodega. dice? Es warehouse. Bodega. bodega. Very good. La bodega, right? That's the place yeah. where you store things. Where you store things. We have to ask for permission. Have to ask. They check. Every time we use have to for obligation, then I need a verb. I have to ask. The driver has to bring. He has to use. Recuerden, terceras personas. He, she, it. Yo digo has to. He has to bring the material. He has to use the name. Ana has to study a lot. Carlos has to open the canon. Mentira. Yo sé que no funciona. Okay, so you say has to for third person say. Mm -hmm. In negative, we say doesn't have to. But if I use I, you, we, they, or it, en plural, ¿verdad? Si tuviera um, it es singular, yo ocupo doesn't have to, pero si tuviera the trucks, ya no sería it, ya sería they. Eso sería plural. Yo diría the trucks don't have to go to the warehouse. ¿Sí? The trucks don't have to go to the warehouse. I don't have to store the packages. No obligation. Recuerden, esto es no obligation. Este es uno de los modas que cuando se cambia negativo se vuelve lo contrario de lo que es en afirmativo. ¿Sí? En afirmativo es obligation y negativo it is no obligation. That's why I was telling you, I don't have to wear a uniform to teach this class. 
right? I don't have to wear a uniform, but I have to collect the grades on Friday. Yes. And you have to finish the platform by Friday. Before 11. Not before midnight. Before 11. Okay. Any questions here? No question. Tino? Okay. Bueno, I have here a couple of examples. Check. Remember, we use have to to express obligation when something is necessary, right? When something is necessary, only present and future. See, I have to work tomorrow. Ahí se me convierte en future, ¿verdad? Aunque usted vea la oración como que esté en present. Pero si usted dice tomorrow, ya es es future. I have to do the platform by Friday. I have to travel on Saturday. Obligation for the future. But today, I have to stay up late. Tomorrow, I have to get up early. So that is obligation. We're expressing obligation. Look at the examples. The boys, plural, have to study hard. The boys have to study hard, have to. The boy, si solo es uno, has to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. The boys have to, but the boy has to. See the difference, right? Pedro has to wash the car. The children, recuerden que el singular es child and the plural is children, the children have to do the homework. John has to work all day. And he has to wake up early. They have to study and work. Every day. And work and work. Right? Okay, repeat. The boys have to study hard. The boys, the boys have to study, study hard. hard. The boys... Has to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. The boy, the boy has to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. Pedro has to wash the car. Pedro has to wash the car. The children have to do the homework. The children have to do the homework. John has to work all day. John has to work all day. He has to wake up early. He has, he has to, to wake, wake, up, wake up, up early. They have to study and work and work every day. They, they have, have to study and work, work and work, work, and work, work every, day. Day. every day. Every day. Every day. <coughs> okay. Now, check this. This is what I was already telling you, right? Check the structure. We have a subject, we will say I, I'm going to change color here. We will say I, you, we, they have to. See? You have to arrive on time. She, he, it, I use with, has to. She has to brush her teeth every day. She has to, you have to, yes? You have to brush your teeth. She has to brush her teeth, okay? Easy, verdad que sí? Yes. Yes, yes, or no, no. Easy. easy. Yeah, that's an easy structure. But it is important that you get familiarized with this. Now, what about in negative? In negative, we say, don't have to or doesn't have to, verdad? 
we use don't have to to express absence of obligation. Not necessary. It is not necessary. I don't have to travel. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. I'm on vacation, right? I don't have to, no obligation. There is an absence of obligation. Now, check the structure. The children don't have to remember again. Child is singular, children is plural. The children don't have to go to school today. They, it's Saturday, it's Saturday, so they don't have to go to school today. She does teacher, teacher. Sí. excuse me, uh, esa parte es la que yo no entiendo, porque Ajá. usted dice, the children don't have to, sí. yo la entiendo como que debería decir, porque nos, se está refiriendo a, a, una, a él, entonces para, yo así lo interpreto, lo entiendo, sería don't, don't have to, o sea, eh, tal vez ahí no, no sé por qué tengo esa negatividad en, en querer entender esa parte. Vaya, child es uno, ¿verdad? Child puede ser he o puede ser she, depende, si es niño o niña. Sí. Ahora, ch children es el plural. Es plural. Ah, ah ok, es que son, ya se refiere a varios. Los niños. Entonces, si solo fuera the child, sería doesn't. The child doesn't have to. Pero como dice the children, don't have to. Porque the children son dos, tres, cuatro, son varios niños. Es plural, es como que digamos they. Sí, hoy sí, ya le, ya le entendí, teacher. Ya le, ya sí, le capté sí. la... Ok, sí, fíjese que es bien común este, tomar children como singular, pero children mm -hmm. es el plural de child. El child es uno y children son dos, tres, o many more, right? Mm -hmm. Ok. So you say the children don't have to go to school today. She doesn't have to eat all the fruit. Cuando eh, usamos chi, vamos a decir doesn't have to. I don't have to wear a uniform at work. I don't have to check emails. I don't have to attend meetings on Sunday. My boss doesn't have to clean the office. What do you have to do? Do you have to clean the office? Yes, no. Do you have to clean the office? Do you know? Yes, I do. Yes, you have to clean the office. Okay. Now look at the structure. Subject don't have to or doesn't have to, dependiendo ¿verdad? del subject. Then a verb and a complement. And I say, I, you, we, they, we don't have to. We don't have to get up early on Sundays. We have to get up early every day from Monday to Saturday, but we don't have to get up early on Sunday. That's it. She, he, it, that's it. Entonces, usted ya sea que diga she, que diga he o it, o que diga un nombre, o the girl, the boy, the child, the driver, the dog, the cat, cualquiera, ya sea que ocupe un noun o un pronoun, si va relacionado a singular o a algo que represente, por ejemplo, he, she, o it, vamos a usar doesn't. Sería doesn't have to. He doesn't have to get up early on Sundays. Doesn't have to. I don't have to get up early. We don't have to get up early. 
Tan he doesn't have to get up early. Any question here? No, teacher. Mm -hmm. No questions? Okay, can you give me an example in negative? Tell me is something that you don't have to do. I don't have to wear a uniform on Saturday. Okay, you don't have to wear a uniform on Saturdays. Very good. Another example. Another example. She doesn't have to cook on weekends. Okay, she doesn't have to cook on weekends. Very good. <laughs> I don't have to clean my office every day. Okay, very good. You don't have to clean your office every day. You, just, you have to clean it, but once a week. Okay, great. Another volunteer, another example. Okay, they, they don't have to travel to Argentina. Yes, thank you, Herman. They don't have to travel to Argentina. It's not obligation, it's not necessary. Okay, now, in your manual, in your manual, remember, we did these examples, right? We did these examples after the conversation and we said, Max and Ivan have to store the boxes. Aaron doesn't have to help. So that doesn't have to help. Sam doesn't have to help either. Remember, we say doesn't have to, no, does, no doesn't have to, right? And the secretary has to. Now, what about you? What do you have to do in your workplace? What about you? What do you have to do? You were telling me in the previous slide, you were telling me about the things you have to do. Now, you're going to work in pairs, right? In a couple of minutes, you're going to work in pairs to create a conversation so you can start thinking about the things that you have to do in your workplace, okay? What do you have to do? You told me what you don't have to do. Now tell me what do you have to do at work? I have to collect your grades. Well, what about you? What do you have to do at work? What is something that you have to do? Do you have to check emails? Hmm? Do you have to check emails? I have to <laughs> attend clients. Okay, you have All to day. attend clients. Every day? Yes. Okay. Do you have to... <clears throat> mm, let's see, to answer emails? Do you have to answer emails? Yes, no? Yes. It's rarely. <laughs> you rarely? But yes. Okay. Yes, I have to answer the email. You have to answer emails. Very good. Do you have to call clients? Do you have to call clients? Yes, I have to call clients. Okay. Do you have to... Okay, to cook in your office. Do you have? No, to? I don't. I, I don't have to, to cook to work. You don't have to cook at work. Okay, very good. Nice, nice, nice. Now let's complete the sentences. 
Complete the sentences using have to or has to, right? Depending on the situation. You use have to or has to and the words in the parentheses. Go to your manual. That's in your manual on page number 12. Manual page 12. Let me know when you finish and you're ready to check. Number one, teacher. Mm -hmm. The, the company, company has to buy new material. The company has to buy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. What about number two? Your partners? Your partners uh, have to pile, pile up containers. Mm -hmm. Have to pile up. What is the meaning of the word pile up? Pile up. Amontonar, teacher. O apilar. Apilar, apilar amontonar. Apil, apilar, uh -huh. apilar, amontonar. Sí. Yeah. Okay. Your partners have to pile up containers. Bueno, pongámosle B porque si no se ve muy feo. Have to pile up the containers. Okay, number three. The yeah, agent don't have to, to sign the letter. Right. The agents don't have, don't to. have to. Don't have to sign the letter. Sign the letter. Okay. The agents don't have to sign the letter. What about Mr. Bonilla? Mr. Bonilla has to design new models. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about number five? The group doesn't have to work until late. One day of two, yes. I was ready to write. <laughs> the group doesn't have to, yes, you right. Doesn't have to work until late. Teacher, una consulta. ¿Por qué doesn't in the group? Porque group es un punto. Igual que team. Team. Fíjese que hay varias yeah. palabras que representan un grupo, pero son, por ejemplo, el grupo, decimos el grupo, ¿verdad? No los grupos. Aún en español, el grupo es, es sigla. Aunque se refiera a varias personas, pero esto me ha conocido. Igual de team, el equipo, doesn't have to work on the right. Otra palabra. Sí, pues, Ajá. Ah, ah, sí, porque, o sea, de grupo, yo lo analizo como ellos. Uh -huh. Porque está conformado por muchas personas. Por eso yo había puesto dos. O don, perdón. Uh -huh. no, don, no, había puesto don, no dos, sino que don. Pero, pero fíjese que es como en español. En español usted cuando dice el grupo, se refiere a el grupo como símbolo. ¿Verdad? El grupo, bueno. ¿dónde está el grupo? Dice. No, no dónde está, yeah. dónde están los grupos, right? A menos que sean varios. Si dijéramos mm -hmm. de groups, porque no es uncountable, ¿verdad? Entonces usted podría decir, de groups don't have to. Pero si solo es un grupo, doesn't have to. Yo tomaría como un tercero, entonces. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Igual de team, de uh -huh. police force. Cuando usted dice de police, es, se refiere al grupo, no a un policía, sino que a un grupo. Entonces, igual, ¿verdad? Es tomado singular que se refiera a, a toda la fuerza. O sea, que en esos casos de esas palabras como de grupo, teams, eso lo vamos a tomar como terceras personas. 
Exacto. no como, no como, como segunda, o, sea, o primera, perdón. Sí, No se como toma. day o we, bueno, como day, sino Ajá, como, se, como, se toma como como she singular. Ah, eso, eso sí no sabía. Sí, se toman con claro, los sí, cinco. Si dijera the groups con S, sí, entonces sí sería don't. Don't have to, sí. The groups don't, don't have to work. Okay. Sí, porque con este, a diferencia de furniture, por ejemplo, que cuando nosotros decimos furniture, eh, nos estamos refiriendo a los muebles, fíjese. Ahí se refiere a los muebles, pero la palabra furniture, como es, Uncountable, en inglés es uncountable. In Spanish is countable. ¿Verdad? Entonces, the furniture es single. Entonces, se toma como single. Pero en el caso del grupo, sí es contable. Entonces, yo puedo perfectamente decir the groups. Y lo quiero poner en plural. Si lo quiero decir en singular, digo the group. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Ok. Any other question there? No question. Now is your time to go and work in the groups. Ah, mire qué galán aquí está. <laughs> Hasta me olvida qué es lo que pongo. Vaya, so doesn't have to work until it has to be signed any model, and they don't have to sign the letters. Uh, have, your partners have to file up the containers and has to buy, the company has to buy them. Okay, questions, no questions, no? Requests. Then, if there are no questions, it is your time for you to go work, right, in the group. Uh, remember the, the objective, right? The objective of today's class that said that you know we will create a conversation where one of you is the boss, the other is the employee. So you're going to create, create a conversation with a partner. Imagine one of you is new there. So you have to give instructions about how some things have to be done. So one of you is new. And the other one is the boss, right? Then what you will do is give instructions about how some things have to be done, okay? And you have an example on how you can begin. Hello, Moises, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to check in. Then you have to uh, turn on your computer. After that, you have to, so you're giving the instructions, right? Okay, where, At least, where do I have to? Uh-huh, okay. Where do I have to register? Or where do I have to check in, verdad? And then he will tell you in the entrance, in the lobby, or whatever, right? if you have a special place to do that. Then you have to do this and this. Y ahí le sigue dando las instrucciones de lo que tiene que hacer. Okay? Any question? No question. Mr. Bonilla has to, Carlos, has to resign. He, the group, doesn't have to. Mr. Bonilla has to, and the group doesn't have to. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Fine. Oisi, ready. I'm going to stop sharing.
but I'm going to share these instructions in the WhatsApp group. We will to keep and you can see it. I'm going to give you 10, 12, 13 minutes, not much, right? Not much time because I guess you can do it in that time. I'm checking something. This is the system. Right. Ya vieron que les se los mandé al chat? Yes. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to send it to a different group. Voy a hacer cinco grupos. Yo eh, tengo mis razones para no hacer más. Y es el hecho de que si hago más que cinco grupos, llego a medianoche esperando que eso se convierta. Pero me perdonen. Porque si no, Zoom se toma su tiempo y dice que yo no puedo esperar a medianoche para convertirme en un grupo. Che, <ríe> ya probé. Máximo es cinco grupos para que me deje dormirme a las once. Si no me manda a dormirme hasta medianoche. Oh, así es que, así, lo voy a mandar en grupos de, de cuatro, quedan cuatro, para que ustedes se turnen y escriben una conversation, only one, ¿verdad? Describing o checking. And then you practice with your partners and be ready to check. ¿Ok? Ahí los voy a estar guachando que de repente, que de repente se me queda algún grupo muy pobre y, y otro sí tiene a todo el mundo. Entonces, yo ahí me lo llevo a robar y a mandarnos a otro. Bueno. Any questions before I send you to the room? No. No question? No. No. No questions. No, 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 no. Sí. Muy bien. <laughs> okay, let's go, Jen. Let's go, let's go. You will have um, 13 minutes. That means at about a quarter to 10, I take you out for you to chill. Enjoy. Carlos Roberto, Marcelo Roberto. lo nuevo, a ver si puede ver la Marcelo. Vale, si no logran entrarse a un grupo, se pueden quedar trabajando en el fondo. Por, por ejemplo, que en, digamos. I, I check in emails. I need to visit my clients. I. In... I'm printing the business cards, the two clients, and go, 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 um, go to the, irlos a dejar, como decir, go to, or arrive, mm -hmm. okay. in the, okay. in the office, and, 
híjole, un montón de actividades más que hago. <risa> Pero, pero por ejemplo, ajá, pero por ejemplo, digamos, si tomamos solo dos, digamos, te decimos, eh, Miguel y, y yo le decimos, eh, good, I have heard the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to check email. Esa sería como su primera actividad. El primero. Ajá, y, y la segunda sería, por ejemplo, um, call. Um, Tal vez hacer la llamada. Call the Okay. Call the client. Call the client. Okay. Entonces usted ya en el en el B nos responde. Okay. Where where do you have to? Ya en la, en la, prácticamente en el último en el que era el B. Está bien. Eh, dice dónde tengo que. Eh, me imagino que le está preguntando en en el lugar para donde. ¿Dónde tengo que hacer mi trabajo? ¿Dónde tengo que chequear el email? Que había? ¿Eso? No, como le puso que tiene que chequear los email, email y llamar a los clientes. Ajá. Okay, where do I have to, to check the email? O, o no, o no. I have to. En, el, en, el, en la letra B. Ella dice, ok, vale, o sea, sí, está bien, dice, ella acepta, va. pero de ahí ella también hace una pregunta. Eh, no sé si es cuándo o dónde, dónde, ¿Dónde? tengo, dónde es, dónde tengo que, ¿Dónde? dónde tengo que llamar a los clientes o dónde tengo que, que checar el email, sería, uh, sería, where do you have to check email and the tell the, the clients, entonces sería, in the office, sería la, In the, la respuesta de nosotros se entendería en in, 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 in your office in your office in your office then you have to um, the, take the lunch please <laughs> luego pues tú tienes que tomar tu yeah. almuerzo no sé then you, you have to, to take the lunch <laughs> Sí. Ok. Ok, no sé Después si lo... Le ponemos hello. Hello, Ajá. hello Norma. Ajá. Le voy a contestar, hi, how are you? Va, sigamos. Okay. ok, hagamos el diálogo entonces, ya que tenemos la respuesta, saber cómo nos sale. Adelante. Eh, dale, dale, mi. Hello, hello, Norma. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the, la the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to check the emails and call the claims. Okay. Where do, do I have to? In the office. Then you have to take the lunch. Okay. Um, good. Okay. <laughs> Está de acuerdo. Más que todo. <laughs> Dedocráticamente, de, de como que no. <laughs> What do you think, teacher? <laughs> okay. Next, uh, the same. I am switch. So, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's the boss, right? Okay. <laughs> you can be the two new employees and she can be the boss. Okay, okay. Ready. And the, with the practice, uh, okay, Moises. Uh, hello, hello, Moises. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. Um, first, you have to check your emails and call the clients. Okay. Where do you, I have to check the mail and the, call the clients? In the office, when you have to, of the lunch. Uh, okay. And, the, and the, um, the, the coffee, too? Yes, <laughs> yes. 
Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, nice. Be ready to cheer, okay? Right. Ya no va a sacar, no. No, five minutes. How are you? Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, just five minutes and we go. We give our last practice. Sir. Yo tengo clean the work. Pues sí, porque lo primero que uno hace cuando llega, yo me siento y limpio la máquina. Ajá, igual nosotros. Des ¿no? Después preparo el material de trabajo, solo de, de agarrarlo. Ajá. Entonces sería, you have to clean machine. Y vamos a ir enumerando la lista. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, Mari. Yes, you can, you can give a number to your list. Por lo menos unas tres acciones, unas tres actividades. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, number one, clean the machine. Sí, yo es lo primero que, ha, que hago. In the office. In the office. Okay. Hi, teacher. Good night. Hi, tell me. I needed a question. <clears throat> Please. Um, in the dialogue, in the conversation, uh, uh, literal B, okay, where do you uh, have to? Is a question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the answer is uh, in the in the office. In the office, in the okay. lobby, in the okay. In the office, pero in the office. Un poquito más específico. Si él le pregunta, where do I have to send the em the emails? ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Or where do I have to? Where do I have to check or log in? Where do I have to sign? Entonces, eh, cuando él es un poquito más específico en, en la pregunta, entonces usted puede ser un poquito más específico en la respuesta. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. um, yo, yo tengo una le, consulta. Le... Sí. Eh, eh, la traducción del literal B, del segundo literal B, es que ahí es donde yo no entiendo no, es lo que quiere preguntar. Vaya, si usted le dijo qué es lo que tiene que hacer primero, entonces uh -huh. él le pregunta dónde tiene que hacer eso. O sea, oh. antes, antes de enviar uh -huh. los emails, ¿qué tiene que hacer? Um, turn on the computer. Ajá. Pero si él, imagínese que él no sabe dónde está su escritorio, ¿verdad? Entonces le pregunta, where do I have to sit down? Por uh -huh. ejemplo. Entonces usted le dice, ah, in that corner. O in uh -huh. the office next to mine. Por uh -huh. ejemplo. ¿Verdad? In the okay. office at the end of the hall. Porque ahí le va a dar, le va a hacer como, eh, ¿dónde tengo yo que, 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 que registrarme, que sentarme, que sacar las copias, por ejemplo? ¿Dónde tengo que, que almorzar? Entonces, entonces como que sería que por cada uno de, la, de los de los third, second y third, como que tenemos que dar esas tres instrucciones. Ok, where do you have to? No necesariamente. Porque la primera instrucción es como, vaya, ya después que él ya se ubicó en su oficina, ya todo lo demás lo va a hacer allí. Ah, o sea que... Ajá, en la última sí, cuando le dice you have to meet with your boss, aquí quítele el ING, 
uh, you have to meet uh, you have to meet with your boss allí si puede preguntar where do I have to meet but ahí sí porque ya se refiere a otro lugar que no es el mismo donde va a mandar los emails y donde va a checar los nombres. Entonces, la mm. primera es ubicarse, porque él va llegando, no sabe dónde está su escritorio, no sabe dónde tiene que hacer las cosas. Entonces, por eso pregunta, ¿a dónde, ¿a dónde tengo que hacer esto? ¿Dónde tengo que, que sentarme para enviar los emails? ¿Verdad? ¿A dónde tengo que sacar las fotos? ¿A dónde tengo que marcar? ¿Verdad? Si no sabe dónde marcar, porque el reloj el marcador no estaba en la entrada. ¿O a dónde tengo que tomarme la foto para que me hagan mi imagen con el marcador para poder marcar? Pues, eh, por eso es que la primera pregunta, ¿dónde tiene que hacer eso? Ya después que ya sabe, eh, ya... Las demás, si son trabajos de oficina, él lo va a hacer en el mismo lugar, ya no necesita preguntar eso. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso, el second, the first and the second, sí sería así como está, como lo hemos dejado. Yeah. The first, ya es como decir, o te tendré que volver a preguntar otra vez, ok, where do you have to? En la tercera, the... sí, because he has to meet with the boss, where do I have to meet with the boss? Sería otra vez pre la pregunta. Podría cambiar la pregunta y preguntar cuándo o ah, a qué cuál. hora, ¿verdad? Ajá, entonces puede preguntar, what time do I have to meet with the bus? Where do I have to meet with the bus? When do I have to meet with the bus? How often do I have to meet with the bus? O Se puede cambiar la pregunta. No necesariamente tiene que ser bueno, ¿verdad? Y solo le dan el inicio, se hace la lista. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, está bien, dicha. Muchas gracias. Ok, entonces, ¿cómo lo, cómo lo dejamos? ¿Cómo quedaríamos? Mm, pues yo entiendo que la primera y la segunda podría quedar con esa estructura que hemos dejado. Ajá. Pero ya la tercera pregunta es como que tendríamos que repetir otra vez. Es como que otra vez, en el caso que usted... La otra persona, donde que decir, ¿dónde haría él eso? Esto. Y te, aquí tenemos que responder, in the, eh, en la sala de reuniones, no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Sale room en sala de venta. Mm, mire, ahí sí no sé, tendría que revisar que, cómo se dice. En la sala de reuniones. In the meeting room. In the meeting room. Sí. Ahí sí, ING. In the middle room. In the meeting. Right. In the room. Okay. In the middle room. Eso sería consultar otra vez esto. Okay. No sé si quiere practiquemos entonces. Eso sería, digamos, yo soy primero, Germán sería el segundo, ¿verdad? Sería, hello Herman, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good, I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to send the email for the clients. Second, you have to check the phone numbers. Third, you have to meet with the boss. Okay, where do I have to? In the office, then you have to. The second Do I have the, to complete the question? Um, Where do I have to sit down? ¿Dónde me tengo que sentar? ¿Dónde tengo que hacer esto? ¿Dónde tengo que hacer lo otro? Entonces ahí sí, tiene que completar la pregunta. Okay. Um, Entonces sería como que... Okay. Sí, dale, sí, dale, dale. Eh, digamos, bueno, where do you have... Um, where do you have to... your office? No, yo creo que ahí sería... ¿puedo, ¿Puedo hacerlo en su oficina? No, 
Uh, no, creo, creo que sería, el B sería sí, teacher. Do I have to? Do I have to do it in your office? Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. Es... Do I have to do it in your office? In the office, then you have to, creo que sería. Uh -huh. do I have to do it in... o, o podría decir así como, ok, where do you have to send the email for the clients? In uh -huh. the office. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Como responder casi lo mismo. Exacto. Ok, where do you have to, you have, uh, where do you have to have to check the phone number? Algo así creo que se dice. Igual tercero, ok, where I have to, to meet the, with the boss. Esa sería la respuesta larga, ¿verdad, Ticha? Sí. Ajá. Ok, entonces si quiere... Ay, pero que son tres cosas. Ok, ok. Dámoslo otra vez, eh, si quiere. Eh, ¿Cómo eh. quedaría entonces donde estamos? Ok, where do I have to? Es, es, es prácticamente esto de arriba otra vez. Ajá. Ah, bueno, ok. Entonces, sería, okay. hello, Herman. Uh, Welcome. Eh, o oh, oh, well, uh, maybe to say uh, okay where do you have to um, no, uh, send the email for the client okay, okay send the emails for the clients um, in, okay. the in the office then you have to in the office okay In the office, the other. El otro sería ese igual va sería. Es que como que yo le dijera. Eh, first, you have to send the email for the client. Ajá. Second, you have to check the phone number. Y third, okay. you have to meet with by, with the boss. Sí. Y ahí respondería usted, okay, where do you have to send the email for the clients? Y yo respondería, in the office, then you have to. Okay. Y diría otra vez, okay, where I do have to check the, the phone numbers. Y, ah, como que acá, acá, primero, segundo y tercero, tenemos que hacer eso. Bueno, respondería usted eso, ¿dónde lo haría? Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Ok, comenzamos oh, otra vez. Come on. Ok. Hello, Herman. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. Here you have to send the email for the clients. Ok. Where do you have to send the email for the clients? In the office, uh, then you have to. Second, you have to... Así sería... Second, you have to check the phone numbers. Uh, where do you have to, 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 have to check the phone numbers? In the office, then you have to. Two. Okay. Third, you have to meet with the boss. Okay. Uh, where do you have to meet uh, with the boss? In the meeting room, then you have to. It's okay. Yo creo que sí sería. Uh -huh. okay. Así Teacher. sería, a techar, como que ir siendo uno por uno y ir respondiendo el B y yo respondiendo el A de último otra vez. Ajá, exacto. Ah, ok. Bueno, entonces, eh, ¿quién continúa? Your calificación, please. Marcelo. <risa> <risa> ah, no, Marcelo dijo que estaba que estaba de oyente. Es cierto, él dijo que no podía, pues está en el trabajo. Oh. Ah, pues si quiere, con... sí, él le dijo que está en el trabajo, nos explicó. Entonces, si gusta, hoy cambiemos, Germán. Yo voy a hacer, el... usted va a hacer el primero y yo voy a hacer el segundo. Bien. Um, vamos a ver. Hello, Germán. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the lights of activities you have to do. First, you have to send the emails for the clients. Second, you have to check the phone numbers. Third, you have to meet with the bus. Okay, where do you have to send the email for the clients? 
uh, in the office, then you have to uh, send the email for the clients. Okay, where do you have to, they have to check the phone numbers? And uh, in the office, then you have check the phone numbers. Okay, where do you have to meet in room? Let me have the meeting with my, with the boss. Uh, okay. Um, in the office, then you have to um, meet. So like, yeah. So yeah, then you have to. <laughs> sí. Bueno, ya más o menos le entendí. Yo, yo creo que ahí no, perdido. ahí no perdimos. Sí, pero yo estaba bien perdido al principio. Eh, sí. Si quiere cambiar. Okay, okay teacher. Yes. Ahí es. Bueno, vámonos. Ok, teacher, thank you. So, thank you. Nice, nice. Excellent. Okay, who will be my volunteers to chair? Volunteers o victims. Teacher, una consulta. Tell me, bella. En el A, hey, donde dice, ok, where do I have to? Eh, Podría cambiarle. Pueden el, cambiar. El where. Sí, en vez de decir where do I have to, puede decir when do I have to. Uh -huh. Y cambiarle, por ejemplo, in the morning. Exacto. When do I have to clean the desk? In the morning. Okay. How often do I have to clean the desk? Every day. Early. Ajá, so you can change it. Cualquier pregunta, eh, solo que diga que vaya con la obligación, ¿verdad? Pero ¿dónde tengo que hacer esto? ¿Por qué tengo que hacer? No, ¿verdad? Y sonaría muy rebelde si es su primer día de trabajo. <ríe> eh, pero sí puede preguntar cuándo, dónde, eh, con qué frecuencia. So you can change the question. ¿no? Walter, nos animamos. ¿Cuántos se animan? Vamos. Démosle, eh, démosle, démosle. Edgar Eduardo. Uh, I am E. Okay. Hello, Walter. Welcome. How are you? Good. I had heard the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to check the emails. Uh, okay. Where do I to the chair in the email in the computer on the in the computer or cell phone yeah then do then you have to reply to pending emails okay very good thanks finish teacher excellent mm -hmm. excellent excellent questions mm -hmm. Any questions? My questions. No, teacher. Mm -hmm. Another volunteer? Another volunteer? It will be my other volunteer. Bye. Let me see one more. Walter. You choose the next one. Who's next? Walter, who will be? I... Escoja usted al siguiente porque ah. los volunteers. Va, ah. vamos a. Yo primero vamos a ver a Jessica. Jessica. 
Yo haciéndole barra, mire, y usted me esconde. <risa> ok, gracias. Entonces, lo hacemos con Gabriela, si gusta. Ahí estuvimos en el grupo okay. practicando. Ok. Ok, Gaby. Hello, hey. Gabriela. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Cool. I have here the list of activities of have to do. First, you have to check the emails. Okay, where do I where do I have to check email? Uh, in the computer in the office, please. Then you have to reply dependents emails emails. Okay. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Can we have one last volunteer or victim? <laughs> A ver. Volunteer. Okay, Jessica, it's your turn. Okay. Um, quiero ver por aquí. Tamara. Tamara. <laughs> Gracias, Jessica. Eh, ok, vamos con Peter, entonces. Se nos perdió, Pedro. No lo veo. No, ya, yeah, Pedro, Tamara, who else was in your group? Eh, I was in your group. Ah, vaya, estaba Sabrina. Sabrina, ok. Yeah. Entonces, um, sería, hello, Sabrina, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the, the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to arrange the boxes. Okay, where do I have to arrive the boxes? In the warehouse, then you have to descend the boxes. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Um, you have to send to Colombia. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks to you. Excellent, thank you, thank you very much. Well, it's time to go to rest. So it was a pleasure. See you tomorrow. Quien se queda conmigo. Ah, a ver, the last attendance, ¿verdad? A ver, Bella Lisbeth, present. Present, teacher. Carlos Roberto. Present, teacher. Darling. Por ahí estaba Darling. Dennis, Edgar Eduardo, Gabriela. Hi, Hi. Gabriela. Present. Hi. Present. Hi, Gabriela. Germán Agustín. Present, teacher. Jessica. Present, teacher. Good Carla. night. Good night. Carla María. Present. Kelly. Present teacher. Marcelo. Present teacher. Mauricio. Miguel Efraín. Present teacher. Moisés. Present teacher. Norma Maritza. Norma. Pedro Antonio. Ronald. Sabrina Lisset. Present teacher. Tamara Lisset. Teacher present. Ronald. Present teacher. Ok. Yes, teacher. Tamara Sabrina. Present teacher. Okay. Waldemar. Present teacher. And Walter. Good night. Good night. Present teacher. Ok, nice, nice. You now have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See good you night. Tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care.
Did you see you? Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care, Herman. Hi, hi, Carlos. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Fine, too. Give me quick. Any questions? Eh, fíjense que por el momento, la verdad, no. La verdad que la clase la siento bien interesante ahora. Okay. Eh, sé que estamos repasando cosas que tal vez en algún momento ya lo vimos. Pero si no estás esperando muchas dudas como el que yo tenía ahora con el plural de groups y de group. Uh -huh. aún, todavía, aún todavía tengo dudas en el sentido que no me cabe en mi cabeza que yo, yo forma, yo generalizo o yo en mi mente veo un grupo, pero yo personas, yo cuatro, cinco. Entonces ahí es donde me cuesta como aplicarlo a decir, ah, no, pero es que es un singular, es un singular o un, son terceros. Uh -huh. sí. Eso quizás es lo único que me está costando, de, que mi cabeza me dice otra cosa, por lo que mi mente me viene cuando me recuerdo grupo, o un grupo de personas, entonces yo veo muchas, yo veo a ellos, eso es lo único, pero con la explicación que usted nos dio, sí tengo que tener más cuidado con, con sí, eso. Dice que hay una regla, que dice que eh, palabras que representan un grupo, pero eh, se pueden utilizar como, como singular. Por ejemplo, eh, la que les decía yo, de word, de, de, de grupo, de team, de police, de furniture, es, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Esa es uncountable, ¿verdad? Ahí sí no hay para dónde. Pero uh -huh. si decimos de groups, de teams, sí se puede tener plural, pero hay que ponerle S. Uh -huh. Si se refiere a un grupo, aunque sean varios, pero se refiere al grupo en general. Entonces se vuelve simple. Sí, eso, eso es lo que <coughs> en su momento cuando estoy explicando, cuando lo puso de primero, fue que me entró esa gran duda, porque, Ajá. hombre, si son un montón de personas, ¿cómo puede ser he, it, or it's, digamos? Pero ah, ya con ya. lo que usted mencionó, ya. Ah, ya sí sustituye, en vez de, de decir de group, dice they, ahí sí, ¿verdad? Tendría que ser tomado como, como plural. Pero si plural. decimos de group es es single. Ok. Sí, tengo que tener más cuidado en eso. Sí, sí, pero así son cositas que de repente sale la duda y, y, y yo lo solicito por, por buscar aclarar las dudas en mi momento. Para el futuro es súper importante. Uh -huh. Sí, gracias. ¿Any other sí. question, Carlos? Yo sé que eh, no como vamos comenzando, la verdad. Sí. Cuando ya, ya vamos viendo quizás otros temas, quizás ahí sí. Ahorita por lo menos con la plataforma, yo llené el de, oye, quizás en la clase que estamos ahí medio, que o sea, con otras personas, yo lo estuve como revisando y en el primero. Okay. Ya, eso tengo que re, ya tengo que, que llenar el otro, el segundo. Nada, nada más eso. Eh, y de ahí, como le digo, pues, eso de que con los temas que vayamos viendo, vamos a, a, va a surgir dudas, digamos. Uh -huh, exacto. Al, al, algunas veces son tal vez vocabulario. Fíjese que cuando yo le escucho hablar a usted en inglés, yo le entiendo mucho lo que me está diciendo. Tal vez no, a, a, sí, sí entiendo lo que me quiere comunicar en general, uh -huh. pero algunas palabras si no las conozco, solo es de que pues, me las vaya aprendiendo o vaya vaya teniendo ese como cuidado de saber qué realmente me está diciendo, pero sí le entiendo mucho lo que me está diciendo. Ese es bueno. No, si no, lo que hago es cerrar los ojos. No es que me, no es que me de sueño, sino que cierro como para concentrarme. Para como, concentrarse y escucharme. Y escuchar bien lo que está diciendo, cómo como va guiando la conversación a lo que quiere llegar. Porque sí siento que es bien necesario. Yo le contaba, a, bueno, a los docentes anteriores con los que he estado, es que que en mi trabajo yo ya comencé a recibir correos en inglés, eh, porque como es una empresa global, 
y también este, ya una vez el director en una reunión que hizo con toda la administración nos mencionó que es necesario que aprendamos inglés. Entonces por eso es que yo desde el año pasado me animé, comencé en el nivel 1 el año pasado, pero me operaron un, un ojo este año, entonces en lo que yo estaba buscando que me operaran, dejé de asistir a clase, o sea, le puse un stop y hasta hoy, como en agosto, creo que comencé, agosto o septiembre, algo así. Uh -huh. Sí, y lo bien de seguir para adelante y aprovechar la oportunidad y, y no parar, ¿verdad? Sí, ah, pues ahorita como le digo, es lo, lo que por lo menos a mí me interesa aprender un montón, porque sí, yo veo que esto va cambiando un montón, Y si nos quedamos atrás, pues no vamos a ser competitivos. Exacto. Y a mí, por lo menos en la reportería, algunas cosas ya vienen en inglés. Reportes que yo hago, los hago, no en su totalidad, pero sí, digamos, en el llenado, tal vez no en la explicación, no la hago en inglés, pero de ahí todo, o sea, meses, eh, tal vez para decir de que fulano de tal dijo algo, tenemos hasta como un cuadro donde más o menos tenemos lo que vamos a explicar para ponerlo ahí, pero sí bien necesario porque pues para eso va ahorita el mundo. ¿va? Exacto, exacto. Y es que el inglés definitivamente le va a abrir puertas, ¿verdad? Entonces ese es bien súper necesario. O inglés, computación, eh, son dos cosas básicas, ¿verdad? Que Sí, tienes. sí, ahorita por eso es mi interés de de aprender la verdad y también que me gusta yo desde pequeño desde como los 14 años comencé a ir a cursos de inglés pero no era constante porque solo iba unos meses los cursos por el de hecho grado. sí ajá porque como yo seguía estudiando eh, bachillerato en el octavo no entonces muchas veces por enfocarme realmente en mi estudio de básica o bachillerato yo solo iba unos meses y de ahí Entonces, pero lo más que llegué, Lo bueno es que tiene la base, tiene muy sí, buen cosas. ajá, entonces hay muchas cosas que, que yo ya las he visto, pero, o sea, no es lo mismo que me lo recuerden a que yo diga que puedo, entonces, Sí. pero, pero sí, muchas cosas sí entiendo, pero igual no me puedo confiar a que eso lo entiendo, Exacto, quiero, es quiero aprender bien, bien, bien. eso es buenísimo, eso es buenísimo, ¿verdad? ponerse las pilas. Sí. Okay. Y ya sabe, tiene dudas, pregunte, ¿verdad? Tiene dudas, pregunte, eso eh, siempre le va a ayudar un montón. Okay. Sí, yo pregunto, ahorita el inconveniente que tengo es que ese equipo me está dando mucho problema. Ya mi equipo ya está viejito, y estoy pensando considerar comprar una computadora nueva, porque del, tengo 10 años o 11 de tenerla. Entonces cuando usted está haciendo preguntas o algo, yo le quiero dar a, a, aquí en el botón de, del micrófono y no me, re, no me responde. Yo, yo quiero contestar y no puedo. Pero es porque como que me da conflicto el Zoom con el sistema. Porque el sistema es Windows 7, no, no es Windows 10. Entonces no lo puedo cambiar porque el equipo ya no me aguanta. Ya no aguantan, sí, 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 Entonces, sí. pero ahí estamos. Que pues, viendo cómo cambia porque sí también Así. necesito... Lo importante es ir dando el mejor esfuerzo cada vez. Dale. Y la disposición para aprender es bien importante. Sí, sí, claro. Así que lo animo a seguir adelante y tiene dudas, siempre pregunte. Oye, ahí Sí, estamos teacher. para apoyar. Ok, Ok, bueno. muchas gracias. Good night, Carlos. See you tomorrow. Have a nice Ok, thank night. you. Good night, see you tomorrow, Good night. teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care.